Asana Rebel is a health and fitness app geared towards yoga, but it also contains features that encourage a healthier lifestyle. This app has a lot of yoga-based exercises and features plant-based recipes. And since I really like yoga, as well as vegan food, it seemed like a really good app for me to try out to see if it's something that we could recommend to all of you. So both myself and my nutrition coach colleague, we tried out the app for one month. After doing this, I can say that there were certain features that really impressed me and certain features that I thought were pretty disappointing. However, I have to say that I have a pretty high bar for fitness this app since I've reviewed so many of them for this channel. But today I'm going to go over the pros and cons of this app for my experience and who I think this app is going to be right for versus who I think should maybe try something else. I like that the app offers introductory lessons so that you feel like you have a solid foundation of movements before having to implement them in a workout program. The workouts are pretty fast paced and they don't really break down how to do each movement. So being introduced to popular movements ahead of time is smart, especially for people who are new to yoga. The introduction program walks you through three videos. You have foundations of vinyasa, vinyasa flow, and foundations of warrior. This was really good because although yoga is mostly body weight movements and not heavily loaded, your technique is still important because if if you're consistently doing movements in the wrong position, then you can easily injure yourself and you gotta stay safe out here. I also like that Asana Rebel is designed to include more than one aspect of health because it shows that the app was designed to help users improve their overall health. The app also has an emphasis on sleep quantity and quality, stress relief using meditation, productivity tools using music for focus, and nutrition through recipes, which really just shows that it's designed to help users improve multiple areas of their life. Another thing I liked was that it has lots of different workouts to choose from to keep you from getting Board. The most common exercises focusing on endurance, power, body weight strength, stretching. There's also a lot of different lengths of workouts and some lasting as little as four minutes and longer workouts being about 26 minutes. I love the variation because sometimes people, they only have a few minutes to get a quick workout in and four minutes can really be a great recharge if you don't have time for a full 26 minute yoga session. That being said, if you're someone who wants to put on muscle mass and get significantly stronger, this app might not be the best for you because there's no weights involved. It's all just body weight training and that can only get you so far. Asana provides daily recipes that look great, but apart from these recipes, which are all plant-based, the only nutritional content that they have is their daily tips and quizzes. The tips are also generally directions to eat less than normal and to avoid animal proteins, but they provide zero context about how much is enough to adequately fuel yourself and how much is too little to eat. And some people are gonna take this to the extreme because they don't have enough information to make smart decisions about how much to eat. A lot of other people may not make a change at all because the information provided is pretty unclear. And they they don't know how to proceed, so that's problematic. On the exercise side of things, I felt that the app didn't provide enough movement modifications for people who are new to exercise or perhaps dealing with any mobility restrictions. I think that the app should be providing alternative exercises for people who are beginners, intermediates, and people who are advanced exercisers so they can cater to all fitness levels. For me, I felt like the introductory videos were enough technique coaching, but I've also taken a lot of yoga. I think that a lot of other people may find it challenging to keep up during workouts without continued technique coaching. Lastly, another thing that I didn't like about the workouts was that the app doesn't take into account the workouts that you've done to ensure that you're working out multiple muscle groups throughout the week. The app does ask you how you're feeling each day, if you're happy, energized, relaxed, powerful, mindful, and it makes recommendations based on your answers, but it doesn't seem to alternate muscle groups based on what you've done previously. And this is obviously important, right? Because if you're training legs over and over, then your muscles are gonna have a hard time recovering and your other muscle groups are gonna lack attention and lag behind. Now, is the premium version worth it? If you're considering using Asana Rebel, then honestly, I do think it's worth it to upgrade to premium because the free version gives you a very limited access to the features. And if you're only using the free version, you're gonna get tired of doing the same things over and over with little to no variation in the workouts, the recipes and meditations, the challenges. Unfortunately, there is no free trial for the premium version. So if you wanna test out the premium features, you might have to sign up for their monthly payment plan. But if you know that you wanna use the app long-term, then it's much more cost-effective to sign up for the year. Overall, I think that this app has a lot of great features, but the app's nutrition content is definitely lacking and the recipes they provide are exclusively plant-based, which was a pro for me because I enjoy eating primarily plant-based foods, but for some people, this may be a con. Asana Rebel would also be a great fit for people who enjoy or are interested in yoga or anyone who wants to engage in a guided meditation. It's also a great app for people who like background music to help them focus and daily reminders to keep them accountable. 
I don't think this app is gonna be right for anyone who may require modifications to simplify movements or people who require more detailed instructions and technique cues. This is also maybe not the best app for anyone who wants to track their food intake or progress. Also, this may go without saying, but if you don't enjoy eating vegetarian or vegan and you don't enjoy yoga or meditation, then you should probably look elsewhere. If you're looking for something that helps with nutrition, I would actually recommend you check out my review on Noom, which I have put a link to in the video description. I've also put a link to the full blog post on Asana Rebel. This is just gonna go into more detail on how we tested the app, all the features, and what alternatives that we recommend. I also just wanna say thank you for watching this video. I hope that you found it helpful. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing to our channel. And of course, hit that notification bell so you don't miss our next review. See you next time.